Kasturi Patu and I'm a member of Parliament from Malaysia. Political parties must provide platforms and must create access roads for women to be seen and heard in politics. In a male-dominated playing field, women are sometimes discouraged to actively participate as frontliners in politics because of its toxic ecosystem. The responsibility is on us as lawmakers, as governments, civil society and people at large to provide a safe, conducive and progressive environment void of racism, sexism, bigotry and terrorism viewpoints from the powers that be. But we cannot do this alone. The vision and the mission to increase women participation and representation in the August House must come with concerted efforts by larger, more established and political organisations like the European Union. This, however, doesn't discount the fact that domestically there has to be greater investment in attracting women into the political fold. My hope is one day for the European Union to not only strengthen bilateral and economic ties with ASEAN, and particularly in Malaysia, but to prioritise human rights, which is also to prioritise women's rights. The right for all voices of women to be heard and represented in Parliament. I look forward to better engagement and fundings for exchange programmes and empowerment workshops to ensure that more political parties will have political will to field more women in our coming general elections. The Malaysian people at large are prepared and ready for more women to represent them in Parliament. The question is, is the government prepared to invest in this? I hope one day in the near future, the Malaysian Parliament would see more than 30% of women representation, bringing the voices of all Malaysians to Parliament to be heard, to uphold the rule of law, to be defenders of human rights, to protect democracy, justice, equality and freedom. Thank you.